Good morning. John 1, 1 through 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. I think most days we still don't fully comprehend it. Isaiah 55, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. God's ways are so different than our way of thinking, our way of planning, our way of even looking at things that if we're not careful, we'll miss him and what he's doing. In Luke 2, 1 through 5, and it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinius was governor in Syria. So all went to be registered, every one to his own city. Joseph went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, into the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. In the hustle and bustle of everyone in Israel trying to get to their hometown, their birthplace, no one noticed a young pregnant woman with her carpenter husband make a journey to Bethlehem. No one comprehended what was about to take place. The greatest birth in history in the world was about to take place, and no one noticed. And so it is today. With all the end time prophecies being fulfilled in our world right now, prophecies fulfilled in Israel and in the Middle East right now, if we're not careful, if we're not watching and listening and waiting, we'll miss what God is doing in his church, birthing in his people, the greatest move of God sweeping this world in unknown, overlooked places, in unknown, overlooked churches. Let's pray. Father, we're at the time of year to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We've read the story so often, I think we've gotten used to the way the story is, has been told and instead of the way you want us to hear it. Jesus, you didn't come the first time with blaring trumpets and banners waving. You came unnoticed by most of the world. Lord, open our eyes to see what you are doing right now in your church. Open our ears to hear what you are saying to us, what you are needing us to hear. Don't let us miss this move of God that is happening right now. Just because it's not happening the way we want it, the way we think it should be, or the way we even imagined it would be. Lord, don't let us miss this. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth right now as it is in heaven. In the name of your Son, our soon-coming King, Jesus Christ. Amen.